Welcome back. This week I'm here with a science lesson that merges science with some of Sierra's Cooking with Sierra segments that we've been doing throughout the last few weeks. This week we're going to make ice cream by using a scientific cooling principle. So there's some food here and there's some science, but when we're all done, you'll have perfectly edible ice cream that you made at home. So let's talk about what you need. First things first, a gallon size bag with probably about five to six cups of ice in it. You need a quart size bag, just one if you have, maybe if you're doing this as a family, Whoever wants ice cream, everyone should have one bag because that's about one serving size per person. You'll need salt. Salt is very important. We'll get to why in just a minute. Uh, as far as measuring cups, you need a cup, you need a tablespoon and a teaspoon. Vanilla, because we're making ice cream here. Some sugar, some half and half, and then I have a cup here of additional ice just to show you the process. So, the first things first, we are going to add one cup of our half and half into the quart size bag. Make sure you have gloves when you're doing this. Um, when we get to the part where we actually make the ice cream, it's going to be pretty cold on your hands as I learned a little bit earlier on today. So you may want to have some sort of protective thermal type gloves uh, when you go to actually do this. But you're going to want one cup of the half and half. Man, I feel like Sierra now. One cup of this, one cup of that. Here we go. I made a mess doing this earlier this morning too. So one cup of half and half into the quart size bag. Add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I've always heard like watching cooking shows and Sierra talking about vanilla, vanilla. I didn't know where to buy it. It's with the spices. It sure is. It's pretty neat. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Okay, and finally we're going to add in two tablespoons of sugar. And these are the ingredients in this bag that will be edible to make your ice cream with. Once you finish this, make sure you get all of the air out of the bag. There's a couple different options here. You could add a little bit of food coloring if you want different color ice cream. Perhaps if you have a recipe to make a different type of ice cream, which I don't obviously, that's why Sierra does the cooking around here. You could try to add some different ingredients into the bag, but make sure you get the majority of the air out seal the bag, and then you're good to go. So this will become ice cream in a matter of time. Over to our large gallon sized bag of ice cubes, you need to add salt. Salt, this is the science of it. Salt reduces the melting point of ice, okay? So we add a fair amount of salt, and I'm just using normal table salt here onto the ice, a fair amount of it. We'll add our mixture into the bag, and then we'll add a little bit more ice cubes on top. But as I said, the salt, when it interacts with the ice, it rapidly reduces the melting point of the ice, which will allow our mixture to rapidly cool. Now, what we're gonna do is you're gonna need to spend about five, seven, 10 minutes or so really shaking this up, okay? I spent a lot of time doing this morning, so I already have a pre-made mixture Sierra, I want you to give it a try. It's your turn. We'll turn the tables here. This Let me is, know what you think of my ice cream. This is odd. I, I'm not sure how I like this, being on the other side of this, of course. Yeah. It's ice cream. Really? It tastes good. Okay, so. It's perfect. And what you have is a pretty soft, like a soft mm -hmm. serve. So I shook that bag up for about five to six minutes, got it to where it was, and then I actually had to move it between the fridge and the freezer a few times to try to keep it that consistency because obviously we're doing this during the show. But if you wanted to just go straight five minutes, you'll get a soft serve. If you go more about eight or nine minutes, you'll get a firmer uh, ice cream scoop out of this. I've seen online people take the ice cream out of the bag. They put it in a serving dish, apply toppings to it. You can have all kinds of fun. So pretty fun treat for Memorial Day weekend. This was inspired by meteorologist Adam Salarzik. Had to channel my inner Nicholas Ferreri here, bring out some cooking segments to the show. So there we go. We've done some ice cream and we'll be back with a forecast that you may want to enjoy some ice cream with coming up after the break.